Okay, year 12s, your trials are over and now we're preparing for your HSC. This is how you know if you need to set up an ICE table in our module 5 question. First thing to understand is that ICE stands for Initial Change and Equilibrium Concentrations, which means you only use the ICE table when you can track a change in concentration anyway. So you use the ICE table when the question's giving you some kind of indication that concentration is actually changing in the system. Either they directly use the words initial versus equilibrium concentrations, or they told you that a reaction is happening, so there's changes over time. Or they've asked you to look for the concentration of something that didn't exist at the start, which means there must have been some change that happened. So if you don't see any of these signs in your module 5 question in your upcoming HSC, and they've only given you concentrations at equilibrium or concentrations at a single point in time, that means you're just substituting it straight into your equilibrium expression and there's no need for an ice table. So for example, in this question, they've told you at equilibrium, these are all of the concentrations. There's no separate sentence saying that at another point in time, there are different concentrations. So in this case, you don't need an ice table and you substitute those values straight into your equilibrium expression. Whereas in this question, they told you that they added PCL5 at the start and at equilibrium, there's 0.16 moles of chlorine. That chlorine wasn't told to us at the start, which means it must have come about over time. So there is a change we can track here and then we do use the ice table.